Welcome to our online service today. My name's Mark Bolas. I'm one of the ministers here at church, and I welcome you on this Anniversary Sunday. Now, Anniversary Sunday is a day when we would usually be gathering to give thanks to God for another year together and to celebrate the 182nd year of God's people gathering together on our site in Penrith. And it's a time when we look forward as well to what God might do among his people in Penrith in the future. But today, that's not where we find ourselves. We find ourselves instead of gathering here on site, we're watching this service in our homes and we're separated from each other. We're unable to gather in person with one another on site. We're unable to join together to express our immense gratitude to God for all that he's done for us. We can't do that together. And we're unable to demonstrate to our community and to our world the glorious saving work of God that enables us to gather together. Today, as we watch this service from home, we are still able to give thanks though, can't we? We can still give thanks to God for the good gift of being able to watch together. And we give him thanks that we can still sing his praises, that we can come before him in prayer, that we can listen to his word. And we could do these things by ourselves and with our households or or on Zoom for some of us. But as we give thanks today, we also pray, don't we? Because we know this isn't how things are meant to be. This separation, this isolation from one another isn't what life is meant to look like for God's people. This inability to gather isn't normal for the people God has gathered together through the saving work of his son, Jesus. And so we continue to pray. We continue to ask our God to act, uh, to bring an end to the spread of this virus, to stop its debilitating impact on the lives of people in our city and our state and our country and our world. And we ask our God also to give us the opportunity to gather together as his people once more. And we ask him to help us to persevere along with all his people as we wait patiently for the glorious heavenly gathering to come. Now, it's possible that you're watching today and you've never been able to gather with us on site, but you'd like to join us once restrictions lift. Now, if that's you, then I'd love you to get in touch with us, to tell us about that. We'd love you to share uh, with us so that we can welcome you and make joining us on site as easy as it can be. And the best way to get in touch and to share this or anything that you'd like to is through our Connect card. And you can find that at the link below. But whoever you are, wherever you're joining us from today, it's great to have you with us for this online service. Now, during our service today, we're going to be looking at Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Uh, Tom's going to give us a big picture of that letter before we look at it in more detail over the next few weeks. So keep your Bible handy for that. And today, we're also going to hear from Neville Naden. He's one of our gospel partners working with Bush Church Aid. And he's going to update us on how things are going with our Indigenous brothers and sisters in Christ in regional New South Wales. Before we hear from Neville, before we hear from Ephesians, we're going to begin by singing. And so let's give thanks to God by remembering all that he's done for us as we sing How Great Thou Art. 